want to go over this worksheet with you because the book goes through a couple of different exercises here to tell you how to how to create a determinant, how to find a determinant. But before we dive into that, um, I want to point out a couple of things. First of all, these lines, this is sort of a typo, these lines should go all the way up. You'll notice that they are straight lines. Okay. They are not brackets. The brackets indicate that you're dealing with a matrix. When you have the straight lines like this, it's an indication that you need to do some kind of operation on this to find the determinant of this matrix. This is not a matrix. This is a determinant. But you have to do some work to find out what that number is, what the determinant is. This is another way to write the determinant. Uh, this abbreviation and then the, the identification of the matrix right in there. Let me start out by saying getting the determinant of a two by two matrix is remarkably easy. And that is because all you have to do is multiply these two numbers together and these two numbers together and subtract them. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 15 minus 8 is negative 23. And that's the determinant for a 2 by 2 matrix. The book doesn't actually do it that way. Um, it, it uses the opportunity of a 2x2 two two matrix to set you up to teach you how to find the determinant of larger matrices. Here you can see that they've used dotted lines to cross out um, a, a column and a row here and a row and a column over here. This is this is called expanding a matrix, and the way you do that is by taking the number in the intersections of these two lines here and here and writing them down. Here's the three, here's the four, and putting a minus sign between them, and then multiplying this number times the... Um, the number from the intersection, and this number, the remaining element in the matrix, by the number in the intersection. You'll notice that's the same thing that we did, um, but it's a different process to get there. Uh, we could do this one easily the way we've, the way we, we did this one a few minutes ago. Seven times eight is 56. Uh, negative 6 times 9 is negative 54. If I'm subtracting them, 56 minus a negative 54, um, I think that's 110. So this should be 110. But let's do it the way uh, the book does it for a minute. We need to take the 7 and the 9 and write them down and put a negative sign between them. Then ignoring these two um, parts of it, this column and this row, the remaining part is eight. So we'll multiply this by eight. And then crossing this out or covering this up and covering this up, we get the remaining part, it's negative six. And now we can multiply these together. We get 56, we get a positive 54, and we still get 110. 
Okay. Now, when it gets a little bit bigger, okay, um, the method that they talk about here is crossing out the first row and crossing out the first column, taking what's left, and finding the determinant of this part that's left. And then doing the same thing here, crossing out the first row, crossing out the second column, and using these four elements of a, as a matrix to find the determinant of that. And then finally crossing out the uh, first row, crossing out the last column, you take these remaining elements, make a matrix out of it, and get the determinant of that. So here, what they've written, notice that here they've used the straight lines again, as opposed to the brackets. This is the same matrix over and over again, by the way. This is that same matrix again, only this time with the determinant indication notation. And they took the first three, the, fir the first row, the three elements from the first row, and wrote them down two, three, and negative four. And then wrote the notation here for the determinant of this matrix, and then this matrix without the middle part here, and then this matrix here. And they put a negative sign here, and they alternate negative, positive, negative, positive. So they put a positive sign here. Now what's required is to get the determinant of this, the determinant of this, and the determinant of this, multiply them together, and subtract or add as you're told to do. This is called expanding the minor determinants. These are the minor determinants from the original matrix. And they already tell you that the 3 by 3 determinant is equal to 371. I am going to show you something that a student showed me. Okay. This is something a student showed me that I had never seen before, but that worked. What I've done is taken the same matrix right here, right, as was under here. Two, three, negative four. Um, yeah, you can't see it, but you've got it on your paper. Two, three, negative four, negative one, five, seven, nine, negative eight, negative six. And then in another color over here, I copied these two columns. And I did it in another col color so that we wouldn't get confused about whether or not it was part of this matrix. It's not. But here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to take diagonals down this way. Like this. Like this. And like this. And we're going to multiply the numbers together. Uh, 2, 5, and negative 6, that's negative 60. 3, 7, and 9, if I multiply those together, I get 189. And negative 4, negative 1, negative 8, I wind up with negative 32. And if I add those together, I get 97. Now, if I go the other way, in other words, instead of going down, I go up diagonally, this way, and this way, and this way. Nine times five times negative four is negative 180. And then negative eight times seven times two is negative 112. And negative 6 times negative 1 times 3 is 18. And if I add those together, I get 
negative 274. Now, if I take this one, 97, and subtract this one, minus negative 274, it winds up being 371. And that's exactly what they said they wanted it to be. Right down here, 371. And I actually double-checked with the calculator to make sure it was right, and sure enough, it was. So what I'd like you to do is take a moment and do this one. And I don't really care whether you do it the way I just showed you or whether you do it the way it says in the book with uh, expanding the minor uh, determinants. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and do this and see what you get. 